Welcome to a composite tips video from the Ultralight Airplane Workshop. At Oshkosh in 2018, I got a good tip from a composites workshop about how to mark on carbon fiber parts. And the tip was to use Sharpie permanent marker that is the silver metallic color. If you've seen some of my videos that I've done on trying to create some composite samples, you've seen that I write on the back side, which is the peel ply side, using one of these silver metallic markers. And so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I bought my first Sharpie silver metallic marker from Michael's, the hobby supply store, and I also bought a gold one just to see how well that would work. And of course, I've had plenty of the black markers. Well, I've got a little test here where I wrote some X's on the peel ply side of a part. I've written black X's, gold X's and silver X's, so you can kind of see the difference between them. Now here on the peel ply side, it's not too bad. You can actually see all three colors, but of course the silver shows up the best. It kind of looks white. I've also marked up the mold side, which is the shiny side. And here you can tell that the, again, the black doesn't show up too well. You can kind of see it. The gold kind of shows up, the silver shows up on the mold side better than it does on the peel ply side. You'll also find that on the mold side that the silver marker can make a finer point line also. I also did a little bit of test on the mold side to see how well you can remove the marker. My first test was only 15 minutes after I had put on the marker. I used ethyl alcohol to wipe it off and it came off very easy, but you would kind of expect that. I did another test a little bit later, three hours later, to see how well it could be removed. And again, it came off reasonably easy. It still needed a little bit of rubbing, but not much. It's really comparable to the black marker. I also did a little test on the peel ply side, trying to remove the marker. That didn't work at all well. I also used some 400 grit sandpaper to sand off the high points on that peel ply side to try to see if I could then rub down a little bit easier down into the grooves and remove it. And that did not work at all well. So if you're going to use the silver marker on the peel ply side, only mark in places where you're not going to have to do any gluing or painting. Like I said, you can buy these markers at quite a few places. Most of the hobby stores will carry it. You can also buy it online, of course. And if you want to buy it online, I provided a link down in the description of this video that you can click on to buy it. And if you use that link to buy it, the Ultralight Airplane Workshop will get a small cut of that purchase price. If you'd like to see more of these tips, if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell button and you'll be notified anytime one of these videos is put up on YouTube.